hey guys uh, welcome back to my another video uh, in this video i'm gonna show you the how we can use the uh, filter pipe on the angular so let's begin so basically the uh, we will use the pipes uh, to transforming our data so this is an angular website here there are a lot of standard pipes that we could use in our applications such as like date pipe uh, uppercase lowercase currency there are standard pipe which is uh, built in, in a framework itself and we could use the, this pipe to take advantage of the transforming our data but we could also write our own function to transform a data and today we're going to write a filter basically what we're going to do is we're going to create one input box here and basically it's going to be search box so whenever we search on this and basically it just filter our list so this is the data that is coming from api but in this filter which i'm going to use the data that is all has already been fetched so let's begin so i'm going to show you the code here first so i'm going to make this a little bigger now okay so the first thing I have this application here, which is running and is showing the list of the project we have here. So I'm going to show you that first. So I have the, the component folder inside the component folder. I have the project. Okay. So in HTML, basically it just have a something called list group and it's just a loop showing my data in a project. Okay it's just showing the uh, data in a project if i go in my ts file basically ts file has a project of observable and basically this project observable is calling the service call git project git project is basically a service that is uh, is a function in a service and basically it's giving the observable back and i'm just using this pipe method to tap basically just to hide a spinner and I'm also using the spinner here, which is not even needed, but I use a spinner called NGX spinner service, which is from coming from NGX spinner. So that's why if it's loaded at first time, it just show a little bit of the loading bar as you guys can see. So I'm going to show you the service now. So basically there are only two surveys. The, the first is get project and the another one is get project by ID. And in get project, basically it's calling this API and basically we, we will, I'm going to show you this API as well. So it's a list of the project. Okay, the data here is array and the list of the project is going to show the project name, description, ID and many more. But I'm only going to show here this is a project name and description with the ID. Okay, so that's what we did so far just to get a data uh, showing HTML using a loop here. And, and basically it's just an ng on in it. It just call this observable and it just show the data. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to focus on the filter uh, pipe. So let's build that. Okay, looks like I have already built before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. Okay, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to build it again. So I just want to make sure that uh, I haven't added the uh, filter pipe here on nope i haven't added filter pipe okay good so now uh, i'm just going to refresh this and just want to see first everything works okay good uh, just want to show the console as well looks good so far so now let's build a pipe so to build a pipe uh, we, we can use uh, here i already tried before so we can use that exactly the uh, ng which is G as a generate and P as a pipe and where you want to generate. So I just generate inside the pipes folder and in a filter. It's called a filter. And we could also do a dash dash dry dash run. If we do not want to uh, populate it, we just want to see it. This is it, it's just going to show us that how it's going to look like. But the uh, in dry run will not change anything it says the dry run flag means no change were made so there's no changes but we can see that it's going to create the a filter pipe inside the app and pipe folders so it looks everything looks good to, good to me and it's going to update in app modules as well so now let's build 
this without a uh, dry run so now it's going to generate a pipe so here it's a pipe and this is the uh, filter that is generating using the uh, CLI actually okay so now uh, let me go in add modules and it's going to also add the filter pipe on declarations okay so we will know that filter pipe is exist in our applications okay looks good so far so now let me go to the project here in html and i will create one edit box here okay so i have already the used the edit box if i click it here it will show me this kind the more details about this which i used for the previous videos uh to demonstrate it about the how we can do edit or uh for the how we can use e router params and query params so now let me go back to this topic here which is filter so now let me add here the search box so the source box i have already i'm gonna put copy this code here input so i don't have to type it and i'm gonna put it on the top of the ul here so now if i paste it i'm gonna sh it's gonna show up the input box here so i'm gonna change this to search okay and this is for the search bar and the name is search we don't want this as but we want the ng model we're gonna bind with the ng model so now let me bind this with the N so not this guy sorry like this ng model and we will give this name as a search search value or search okay so i just want to see that i can bind uh, two way binding using the ng model and get the source value or not so now we will have some issue here so let me say what's the issue it says that the ng controller node injector not found okay so the reason why is basically when when we use this uh, ng model we need to also import the forms modules in our applications so i don't have a form modules here because i was using the reactive form models before so that's why i just imported that but i didn't use a form model so i will import the form modules and save my project so now let me see i'm getting that error or not okay i'm still getting that error and another things i believe is i miss adding the source value it doesn't know what is a source value in my component so i will use as a search value here and i will put this as a string so now let's see we will still see that issue error or not nope the error is gone looks good so far so now whenever we uh, type here we will see the results right away it's doing the two-way binding which is good so far which is what we need because whenever we type it we want to filter this list based on what we search here okay and now let me use the filter pipe which i create here so basically this is a filter pipe and it implements the a pipe transform interface here so if i go in go to this pipe transform it's an interface that is declaring here okay in angular so the name of this pipe in, in this uh, decorator it's called a filter with a small half so we can use this filter on our project here in html itself so here right here on loop when it's looping here what we're gonna do basically on this data we could use a filter uh pipe filter pipe using the uh this pipe uh, uh sign and we could use a filter directly like this and we could also pass the parameter so now let's pass the test so if i save it and let's see how it show up here in the application okay it says the can filter cannot of null okay we will receive this issue here filter of cannot of null so now basically it's returning a null that's why it's complaining the complaining so basically here the first thing here is we will see the uh, the value basically this is going to be the array of our project so if i can say a project list here and this is going to be a uh, array i didn't create the uh, interfaces of the project how the the model is going to look like so i'll just say it here any and here basically it's returning the value of the parameter that we are passing on it so we're just passing the uh, text here right which is test so basically this is the uh, the parameter and in the filter we will get the value the first is the value is basically going to be array 
so now if i return this as a project list and i can also print here okay i will print here as a project list and i will print here as a string let me do as a any as well here uh, not string sorry search so now i will show you what happened here if i print a project list and search okay so whenever it's loaded the first time uh, we will see that uh, our the data is null because this is getting from our api so our data is null but we are putting this one okay and and again uh, next time we will also receive the uh, data from api so it's triggering again here's a bunch of list of the list of the uh the project data and we will also see the test here okay so this is the second time it's printing with a, a filter and showing up so whenever i try something now it doesn't even work because we haven't bind our uh the the, the search with with the uh this input box yet okay but first let me create a little function to source this array okay to do that uh, what we're gonna do is the, uh, let me write the uh, functions of the how the uh, filter pipe is going to be so basically what we were gonna do is the first thing we're gonna check if this project has a data or not because the first thing is printing as a null so we just want to make sure that this project has a data if the project has a data this project list then what we're gonna do on this project list we're gonna use the uh, filter and in the filter we're gonna return the object so object is going to return the object of the what we have our project so in a, in a project we have a project name and property called project name description and many more but we just want to search the project name so if it's project name then we will use the functions of the string called index of index of and we will pass the string if this value basically this is going to be this guy whatever if this value has user index of if you found this search then if it's found then we will get the value which is a more than minus one then we know that we found that value and we just want to show that so we will return it and we just want to return that list if it is has been found if it is not has been found then we're going to return the the regular project list so if i save it now okay if I save it now, then we will not see anything here because it's searching for a test. And we don't have a test here uh, on, on this uh, data. So that's why it doesn't show up any data here in the screen. So now let me use the uh, search value instead of test. So now I will use a search value instead of test. So now if I use it as first time, okay, it doesn't show up the reason why so it's trying to search the empty value so we're gonna say that if the project list has a data and and the search list has a data then we want to do this function otherwise we don't want to do so that means we will see the all the results now okay so now all the results now and i'm just gonna uh, remove my console log as well now i'm just gonna test it so the property of this project name of the first one is start with a U T. So now it's searching as a property name. So that's why it just searched it. Okay. Now it's searching for the second one. Okay. See you. So here it is. It's searching for second one. Okay. Now it's searching for the project name. But let's assume we want to search with the ID as well. But if I put number one, number two here, then it's not going to search it. So now let us adds a couple of the code here so basically what we want to do is basically when it's searching the uh, project name we will add another logical operator and we will use as an id and we're going to make sure that if the id is equal to the uh, search okay uh, we will we can't use a three equal sign because the search is coming as a string and this is as the uh, integer or we can transform this to the integer if we like or we could use the uh, two equal sign so that will not uh, check our the type so now if i do two number two then it's going to search with the id as well and same thing when happen to description if we want to search with the description which is another property what we have then we can add we can basically copy this code and paste it here with the R and change this the property to description. And this is how we can easily 
can search it and this will not search with the database this will only search with the uh, the list what we have and on the bottom okay we could definitely make it search with the database but we need to call it whenever it's searching it which may probably I'm gonna make in another video but in this video I'm just gonna show you that how we can search the static data that is pulling from the API already and you want to search it very quickly then you can use the pipe to search it and another important of part of the pipe is basically once you build the pipe you can use the pipe in anywhere in your applications based on where you put the pipe uh, declaration on your modules okay and that's all for this video guys i hope you guys learned something new and i'm gonna put this code in a github so you guys can download easily and thank you very much for watching bye for now